Hello everyone and welcome to the video. My name is Dominic Wendy, aka DW.rugs on Instagram and today we are going to be making a Drake album cover rug for someone that requested it to me. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So first thing we are going to do is head out to my little supply closet and grab the yarn needed for this rug. I usually purchase my yarn at Michael's since they have a lot of options and the yarn is rather inexpensive. These are the colors I'll be using for this rug. I also need to head back to the supply closet to grab my backing fabric. This is my rug making setup in the bedroom of my apartment and these are the drawers where I keep excess yarn, my tufting gun, as well as various supplies for shaving and sculpting a rug. Now to get started on the fabric, I purchased all of my backing fabric from imakerugs.com. They have the best price on the market and the highest quality fabric for tufting. What I usually do is hook the fabric onto the bottom of the frame first and then stretch it out on top and on the sides, ensuring that it's a tight fit in the end so that you don't tear your fabric while tufting. And then just cut off the rest for future rugs. After getting the fabric on the frame, I will line it up and grab my projector. Always remember to reverse the image before you draw it onto the fabric. I got my projector on Amazon for relatively cheap and it has worked great for me since I started tufting. Now that the image is fully traced onto the fabric, we can get started. We're going to start with these brown and tan colors here and uh, kind of work some details in here and, and go from there. I learned this tip from someone on Instagram who uses old toilet paper rolls to spool their yarn. The reason for this is that some of the yarn I purchased is not able to unspool from my yarn mount, so I use the old toilet paper rolls to have the yarn feed properly. I've had this AK1 tufting gun for just about two years now, and I found it on eBay for around $200. I've tried the other types of tufting guns, but for me this one is the most responsive and works best for me. Okay, now it's time to get started on tufting. I typically go one color at a time since that's what I find easiest. Some tips for people who either just started making rugs or want to start. Make sure that you are always pressing firmly into the fabric so that the fabric doesn't tear. And you should always make sure that you are always moving the gun upwards because if you go downwards, you will also tear the fabric. As you can see, I am moving from side to side and diagonally, but I'm always moving upwards and not downwards. Okay, and now that the brown colors are finished, I will move to black. You can see that I'm shifting a lot back and forth, and this is just to ensure that I get the details right. I just recently mounted my frame to this sawhorse that I bought at the Home Depot and I'm really glad I did that because it allows me to stand or kneel while I work on the rug rather than hunch over to get to the bottom. Thank you. 
as I finish filling in the black, be sure to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. This is my first full rug video, and I plan on doing this more and more in the future, so the support would mean a lot to me. Okay, now that the black is all finished, it's time to move on to the background color. And yes, this was filmed on multiple days due to my busy school schedule, but usually when I'm not in school, I can finish a rug within a day. To jump ahead, now that the tufting is all finished, I'll head back outside and grab my bucket of Robert's 3095 carpet adhesive that I got at the Home Depot. This rug compound is great and rather inexpensive, and this 4 gallon bucket was around $50 but has lasted me for nearly 20 rugs so far. I like to get a generous amount on the back to ensure that everything is fixed in place and spread it out evenly. Now that it's all glued, I'll let it dry overnight and come back tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day and I'll get started by taking the rug off of the frame and grabbing my Gorilla Spray Glue to get the felt backing on. I usually order all of my felt backing from Joann. Now I'll cut off the rest of the fabric along with about a half an inch of yarn to ensure that the edges are straight. This is my sheep shearer that I use to shave the rugs and I got this shear guard from Tuft the World and it works great for an even shave. After that I'll go through with my other shaver that I also got from Tuft the World to make sure all the details and excess yarn are even throughout. Finally, I'll shave the sides and vacuum it all off to reveal the final rug. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and like I said, please like, comment, or subscribe for more rug content. I'll be making a lot more of these videos in the future and I'm excited to do more and more rugs as time goes on.